In today's video, I want to show you guys on how you can make a simple habit tracker with Google Sheets in about five minutes or less. So that way you can go ahead and start tracking your habits as soon as possible. Without further ado, let's just jump right in. Okay, so here I am on a new sheet and I'm going to be making this habit tracker for the month of January. So for example, for the month of January, we're going to have different habits here. We're going to have, for example, take a 30 minute walk. Um, we're going to do meditate. We're going to do drink water, right? We want some, some of our healthy habits here and we want to just have a couple of them. Um, I'm just putting three for now, but you obviously you can put your own habits respectively. And essentially what, why they're aligning here on the right is because they're not plain text. So we're going to format them to be plain text and we have these habits here and the month that we want as well. So essentially what I'm going to do is I'm going to start adding the calendar days. So we have one, two, three, and if you don't know, you can just go ahead and select these cells, drag it all the way to the right here till we reach the N and Z. Not to worry because we can always add more columns. We're going to just select all these columns here, insert columns, and essentially however many you selected, you can add that many of that amount of numbers to the right. And I'm going to have it for 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31 here. Perfect. And from the 31, I'm going to select all the columns again, just from the top so I can resize it and not make it as big and as fat as they are right now. And the perfect number I found for this is 35, just because you could easily see that and you could make, you know, it, it's just easy to look in the eye. I'm going to select all our habits here as well, and I'm going to resize them as well to about 25 or so. It's just so they're less smush and less condensed. So what, what I'm going to do here is I could actually insert checkboxes for all the dates uh, and the habits that we have. So I'm going to insert a checkbox just like so. Perfect. I'm going to bolt this just just for ease, uh, you know, just for visibility. Right. And now what I'm going to do is I could start making a count so I could count uh, how many of these habits have I done, you know, for this specific uh, habit. So how many times did I take a 30 minute walk this month? Right. And I could do that by having a formula here uh, called count if count if selects all the conditional um, selects in a range of the conditional stuff. So the checkbox is conditional. It's whether it's true or false. Right. And I could select all the ones here on this range and I could select the ones that are true, obviously. So if I check this, for example, that becomes a one. If I check this, that becomes a two. If I check this, that becomes a three, so on and so forth. And you're actually able to count how many times you've done that habit this month. If I just drag this all the way down. Perfect. Now we have one for every single habit that we will that we will write. Right. So, for example, meditation, how many times did you meditate and you count that as well over here. Now, what's going to happen is I could also do a count this way vertically as well. Do another count if and this time go down this way. And now this will tell us how many times, how many habits did we complete in that single day? So on January 1st, did I complete all 10 of my habits? Did I complete all, you know, maybe eight of my habits or however many it is? And now I can stretch it across uh, vertically or horizontally that way as well. So now we can have multiple counts. Now we are almost done, but not quite yet. I'm just going to have a, a bar chart that will tell me like how many times I've done it. It'll visualize it for me. Right. And we can do that with Google Slides called Sparkline. So Sparkline, essentially, you just have to select the count of the data and I'm going to uh, insert some equation over here, which I will explain to you what it is, but you could copy and paste it from the description down below. So essentially what it's making is it's making a chart type of a bar. So there's different chart types like a line graph, a bar graph, whatever it is. But we're going to do a bar graph today and we're going to do a maximum of 31 because there's 31 days in January. So then the color one black is pretty self-explanatory. It's just making it black. We're going to hit enter. So every time we check this, now we can see that it's actually populating this uh, bar chart over here on the right. And we can always just drag it down and it will be the same for every single row. And that is absolutely perfect. Now we're going to go down that all the way down here underneath this little counter for our um, daily counter. And I'm just going to make this a little taller and we're going to make another spark line that is actually horizontal. But this time we can't use a uh, we cannot use a bar chart because it's only from left to right. We want to make a column kind of like a column chart type, right? So we want to copy this over here. Uh, just the same equation. Essentially what it's saying is that, okay, so we're going to make a, a column chart. The maximum is the amount of habits that you have. So if you have 10 habits, you put 10. If you have 15, you can put 15, however many you have. And I'm just going to hit enter. So that way, when I start going up right here, it starts populating this chart and it starts populating this chart as well. Now, there you go. And I'm just going to drag this across and now perfect. Everything just kind of aligns and works out together. And that is our habit tracker, right? It's, you know, I've literally built this in under five minutes. You can do it yourself too. pause it if you would like. Now I'm just going to start decorating this, right? If I want to start um, having this decorated, I'm just going to copy, uh, go all the way over here and just kind of uh, merge the cell, right? And I'm just going to, I'm just going to call this document habit tracker. So essentially what I have is habit tracker. I'm going to bold that. I'm going to center it and also vertically align it as well. And just to make it easier to see, I'm going to change this to uh, black and make it 
white like so. So now we have this nice habit tracker chart over here. And essentially for every one of these, you could just, you know, I could make this into a little separator here. So we have this for the month of January. You can go ahead and copy this whole thing. Don't forget it ends at this box right here because of the charts. You can copy this again and then paste it this way and just call it February, right? You could, it's, you know, really up to you of however many you want to make and it will still function just as usual, but except maybe February has 28 days, right? So what we can do here is we can just delete this. Oh, don't forget to also expand this right here down here because it is a vertical bar chart, right? And also don't forget to also change the and resize these uh, air rows to 25 as well. So they're not as much. So yeah, exactly. You can see here that uh, if there is 28 days, I could just delete these 28 right here. And then instead of 31 on this uh, bar counter, we could change it to 28 as well. And we could just drag it all the way down to zero. So they're all populated to 28 and everything will still work as usual. And you could, ha and essentially you've just created yourself a very nice habit tracker. Um, you know, as simple as, you know, I, would, I don't know how long that took, like, you know, about five minutes and, you know, you could just keep copy pasting the same thing for March, April, May, or you could even, you know, separate them out per sheets if you want to add notes for your habits and stuff like that. So again, it is very flexible on what you do with it, but essentially that is the very simple habit tracker that I have for you today with Google Sheets. So if you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to hit the like and hit the subscribe button down below, and I will see you guys all in the next video.